Hi there. When solving problems of spherical mirrors, it is important to decide whether V, U and F are to be taken as positive or negative. In this short video, I will give you some simple tips to help decide whether these are to be taken as positive or negative. The distances are measured from the pole of the mirror. So we draw our axis along the pole of the mirror. We usually keep our object on the negative x axis and the rays which are emerging from the object towards the mirror travel in the positive x axis. So in this case our object gets a minus u sign and the focal length also gets a minus f sign. The image gets a plus v or a minus v sign depending on where it is formed. Similarly for a convex mirror we draw the axis along the pole. The object is kept on the negative x axis. However, in this case, the focal length is on the positive x-axis and gets a positive sign. The image in case of convex mirror is a virtual image and is formed on the positive x-axis and therefore gets a plus V sign. This is another convention which is useful in understanding some situations. So for a real object, the rays are always diverging from the object and for a virtual object the rays are converging on the object. We will see one example for one such situation in the subsequent slide. Similarly for a real image the rays are converging on the image and for a virtual image the rays are diverging from the image. When we use the formula magnification is equal to minus V by U for spherical mirrors. If we get a positive M, it is a virtual image and if we get a minus M, it's a real image. Here in this concave mirror, the rays are converging and so we can treat this as a virtual object. And in this case, the U will be taken as plus 12 centimeter and the focal length, since it's a concave mirror, the focus is on the left hand side on the negative X axis is taken as minus 20 centimeter. When we put these values and solve, we get V is equal to minus 7.5 centimeter, which shows us that the image is formed on the negative x axis on the left of the mirror and the magnification when we substitute the values of v and u we get m is equal to 0 0.625 which means that it's a virtual image. 